Hello there, just in time. Welcome to Easy Questions, Difficult Answers. I'm your host, Eugene Thompson. This week's question is, what are people? Lower animals, usually of a specified kind or situation. Oh, hell no, who wrote this? Who said this is what people is? Fuck the dictionary, okay? I'll tell you my theory, and it's simple. People are like popcorn. People are like trees. People are robots. Maybe people are just not. People is whatever God made them. Popcorn. Yeah, that's what I said. People are like popcorn, okay? That's my theory. Yeah, well, let me put this into perspective for you. All right, we all start off as kernels. We're all equal, all on the same level. But what makes popcorn different is how it's cooked. You know, and I mean, in reality, we don't get to choose how we're cooked. Some of us are kettle cooked. Trees! First, we're placed anywhere on the planet, just, just rooted into place, waiting to sprout and, and beautify the planet with our greenness. For hundreds of different trees, just like there are hundreds of different kinds of people. Like, uh, uh, there are evergreens prevailing through anything, and there are maple trees! You can't have anything without maple syrup. <laughs> there is microwave popcorn, you know, made. Quick and easy, but never turns out as perfect as you expected. No, I mean, here you are, you think you're getting this little bag of perfection, when in actuality you get, you know, but unpopped kernels, burnt kernels, sometimes there's no kernels in there at all, which completely ruins the point of popcorn made easy in the first place. We are born into, the, into these preconceived notions, and we don't know that, but the government does. Let's talk America here. They create these social security numbers to keep track of us to make sure that we live life by the blueprint that they create for us. We start off with our innocence, and innocence is everything, until we're born. And then the first thing we do is cry, suffering from the first breath we take. Oh, really just a place where we lose our innocence day by day, making us less and less. People be trying to act like they made it here on their own. Like, no, that's booty. And don't get me wrong, like, we all go through different stuff, but that's the point. See, God connected us. We is like brother and sister. Like, Osama, that's my brother. Oprah, she my sister. So feel free to give me some of the wolf that you got, all right? Live on farms, big cities, suburbs, and then within these places, we have people living on sidewalks, their own cars, and even project buildings. I feel that it's not really nothing wrong living in the projects because I do have to save my money to get my hands out for church. Trees because we all stand deeply rooted, purposeful, uh, until until nature strikes you down. Torn down by nature itself, struck down by, 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 by storms or by trees, brought down in mass numbers and, and, and no one will even help you stand up or, or replant yourself, you know. It's evil. We're all evil by nature. Humiliated, inconsiderate, evil. It's all by nature. It's all natural, I guess. We are nothing because what we are is all a matter of opinion. And as smart as we claim to be, we can't explain what the true meaning of something is. We can't weigh the value because the first screen we let out in the hospital makes us biased. So they come up with these theories like the American dream. And this is all so the government can sit back and relax and watch as their little lab mice or robots run around and try to become somebody. You know, some people are undercooked and don't really come out right. Some people are overcooked and come out a little too strong. But the thing to remember is, you know, no matter how we're seasoned, you know, whether people like us salty or sweet, be sure as hell we're not potato chips. People is whatever God made them to be. And like, I feel as though the Bible is a perfect example. Bible is the book of life, and that's just how it is. No other book is better. Da Vinci Code, that's dead. Twilight, dead. It. Harry Potter, dead. It. The best book in the world is the book of the Bible. That's the one that's sold out in everything. And the writer of the dictionary, he is dead it too, because people is what they is. Hallelujah, holla back. Holler! I hear you, sister. People is what they is. Whether you're a robot, popcorn, trees, or God's creation, one thing's for sure, this was an easy question with a difficult answer. I'm your host, Eugene Thompson.